What is up, dudes? How are you doing today? I hope it's well. I hope you're having a great day. For those of you who do not know me, hi. Nice to meet you. My name is Paige Leal. You may know me from TikTok. If you're not doing so already, feel free to check out my TikTok at Paige Leal. And while you're at it, you can follow my Instagram with the same name. I am an autistic human being, and over here we talk about autism and stuff. And we have a pretty good time if I do say so myself. I was diagnosed with autism at the age of 15. I am currently almost 22. And a lot of factors like being smart, being a woman, being late diagnosed, and pretty privileged, which is a whole, uh, whole whack of stuff that I would love to talk about later, led me to do this funky uh, autistic thing called masking. If you guys are unsure of what masking is, I do have a video, I will link it up here. Go check that out maybe before this if you don't know what masking is. The little gist, the little rundown of what masking is. Basically, you learned that being or acting neurotypical seems to be the way that you do things in life. And so masking is a coined autism term that is the action of trying to put on that neurotypical mask. This can happen consciously or unconsciously. It's very difficult, it's very exhausting, it's very hard. Actually, I just watched one of my old videos the other day, like from like, a year and a half ago. And I was masking so hard, I couldn't even watch it. Cause I'm like, I don't know who that person is. <laughs> masking is a trauma response. It is a coping mechanism. And it is now something I do subconsciously when I think that I need to be neurotypical in a situation. But the thing about being an autistic person is that you are not a neurotypical person. And even if you are the best actor, you will appear neurotypical all the time. Well, I thought I was doing such a good convincing job at being a neurotypical person. These are things that I learned. This is what people do. My autistic brain operates on rules and so, in social interactions, I needed rules. And how did I come up with rules? I saw what other people were doing and what seemed to be right. And then I adopted that as my own behavior. The funky thing about social uh, settings are that they are not, uh, they don't follow the rules. That's fun. So I made a rule and I followed her. First rule, eye contact. I learned that neurotypical people like to look into each other's eyes. I learned that eye contact was supposed to be like a, a thing that shows that you're listening with your ears. So I learned that eye contact was important, which led me to give so much eye contact all the time. And I have really big eyes, uh, apparently, because I'd be listening to someone and I would be just, just digging into their soul with my eyes. Look at how attentive I'm being. People pointed it out a lot, actually. A masking page will stare into your soul and probably not blink nor look away. And I'm listening. Just kidding, can't hear a word you're saying. I have to focus on eyes and that's a lot. Number two, greeting people. I think it was like one time in like grade eight, someone shook my hand when I met them and I'm like, oh, that was, that was cool. I do that now. So um, from the age of like, 12, 13, I started shaking everyone's hands when I met them. And I mean everyone. I remember meeting my first boyfriend's parents and like shaking his mom's hand. Or I put my hand out and I was like, hi, nice to meet you. And she's like, I don't even think she shook it. You're weird. This is how you meet people, you shake their hands. My third thing, conversations are scripted. There are a thousand examples of this. Like I'll say something funny one time and people will laugh and I'm like, that's the thing I say now. I have to say that actually. And I will say it over and over again to the same people. So many times my friends were like, we've heard this, shut up. <laughs> You've told me 18 times. I will also steal other people's things sometimes. It, it's subconscious. Like I'm not like, I'm going to steal that. It just is absorbed. I'm just, it just, and now it's also me. This is also said for um anything else, not just conversations. Movie scripts, TV show scripts, jokes that I hear from things. I have a note that's just jokes in my phone. I used to have a thing of like conversation starters or like questions to ask people. Small talk shit, not good at small talk. Shit. Scripting, huge thing for us. Number, uh, next one. Frig, I'm already lost on the numbers. Talking for hours into the mirror. I wanted to watch how I looked like, how people saw me, how my face and my body and stuff looked. How was your day? Oh, good. Oh, it's so, so good to see ya. Practicing like facial expressions and how my body moved and trying to look like a human person. Number, next one. I'll list them below. If you're looking for therapy that you can access at home, may I present to you BetterHelp. Big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I have been to therapy for 11 years and I am so thankful for it. I think therapy is so important. Not only if you're struggling, I recommend everyone go to therapy. Hey, I do it. We all do it. We all should do it. If you're struggling with your mental health, you're not alone, dude. You got me. We can work on our mental health together. With BetterHelp, you can go online in a chat option, video, or phone call. It's also more affordable than most common therapies. You can also apply for financial aid and they accept HSA benefits. They'll take a questionnaire and from your answers, they will match you with a therapist. 
over 20,000 to choose from. And if you don't like them, you can swap them out anytime, no charge. BetterHelp is giving y'all 10% off if you sign up. You can go click the link down below in the description or you can use my code LAYEL. Go check out BetterHelp, that's better betterhelp.com slash LAYEL for 10% off and you'll have a therapist in less than 48 hours. And now let's keep going on to the rest of the video. I really struggled knowing what to wear every day. I used to have a book of uh, what outfit I wore every single day. So what I instead started doing, I'm asking, so I go to school and I would look at everyone's outfits and I'd pick an outfit and I'd be like, I wear that tomorrow. Good, wear that next day. I look around, what am I gonna wear tomorrow? Mm -mm -mm. That, I'm gonna wear that tomorrow. Like I don't even think it was a conscious like, ah, I will wear that tomorrow. I'm going to steal that person's outfit to wear tomorrow. I think I was just like, okay, that's an outfit people wear. People wear that outfit. I put that outfit on, I am a person, do do do. Number that, I didn't have any of my own interests. My interests were whatever one else's interests were. My favorite songs were the top 40. Did you hear Drake's new album? Literally my favorite album ever in the world, actually. My favorite color, uh, blue. Blue is my favorite color. Yeah, love sports. <laughs> Love them. Ball is life. That's what I like. I'm a human person. That's why I like those things as well. It's only literally probably been for the last year and a half that I've made myself, like I take time out of my day to sit with myself and be like, let's find out who you are. <laughs> Number next one. This one pisses me off. This is the big, the big, the big thing when I was watching one of my old videos a few days ago. My voice changes. My God. Go listen to my first videos. Hold on. Let me just, let me just reenact it for you. Oh my God. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay. So today, something that I really wanted to talk about, the idea, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was listening to it and I'm like, babe, mm, mm, mm. I didn't even think that, that I was like that. That's not even a person. Another thing. Not only was I trying to pretend like I was interested in the same things as everyone else, I would also try to pretend I was interested in Literally everything. Parties, yep, I love parties. Invite me to them. The girls were like, I like that guy, he's so hot. I'm like, me too. He's also the hottest to me, so. What's your favorite subject in school, Paige? Um, gym, uh, apparently. I think this is kind of like a, uh, everyone does this, Paige, so like, don't worry about it, whatever. But I know that, like, I really uh, didn't, didn't even, didn't even think about it. I would find a friend, you know, have a friend uh, and I would I would adopt adopt their characteristics as my own. Ways they said their words or like little jokes or whatever. It's now part of me for the rest of my life. I think that's gonna be something that's gonna hit me in a year is like Paige, you're, the way that you speak is not you. I think also another thing, this could be a separate number, I don't know. I was very used to dumbing myself down for people. I know this sounds bad and I know everyone hates it when I talk about how smart I am. I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, as a kid, I was like, I, f I felt like an adult with like a bunch of kids and the kids were all like very simple, you know, just, they're just kids. And I'm like, what do you think? What's your favorite, what's your favorite planet? They're like, planet? I'm like, you don't know about the planets? No, I'm four. Okay, well, you're a fucking loser is what you are. I've been very used to dumbing myself down my whole life. I think that also people see me a certain way and they're like, you are a certain way. And if I didn't act like that, I was treated weird. And so I'm like, I'll pretend to be a little, a little dumb blonde. Little <laughs> but there are words that I say when I think about it, I'm like, you said that because he said that. Like that's, that's, that's his thing that you took, you thief her. So I think I'm developing my own personality, I think. Point number. <laughs> Anytime there was a mirror in a public space, I would be staring at myself. I had to see what I looked like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looking good? Okay, 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 keep going. <laughs> um, relax your up. Okay, all right, good, good. Do I look human? Okay. Number whatever that masking made me do, people please. That's all I really was doing. Please everybody by fitting in, not making anyone uncomfortable or weird. Never thinking about myself or what I wanted. I didn't even know what I wanted. I literally was a shell of a person. I said yes to everything. People wanted me to do something. I was like, sure, okay. I had no boundaries. People could walk all over me. I was very, very nice, very nice. And I was exhausted. I did so much. I was so burnt out all the time. I did so much. Big thing that masking made me do, it made me exhausted. I would come home every day after school and immediately go down to have a nap. Cause it's hard, man. It's hard to, to act for so long because not only are you constantly like checking your Yourself, you're also recalling so much information. You're taking a test all day. And a third thing is that you are also simultaneously analyzing everyone else for more information for later. And then on top of that, fourth thing, you're you're trying to do things. Like you have to like go to school, do you go to work, interact with human beings, actually have things that people do, but you've got all these extra behind the scenes steps to it. It's exhausting. I would have meltdowns a lot at home because, well, I couldn't have them in public, even though I 
did every single day was like a performance. I got into acting when I was six and I'm like, perfect. It's like life, except someone tells me what to do. Anyone else who's an actor out there, you know, like you're just about to go on for a show and you're like, <sighs> that was me as soon as I woke up every single morning. Other thing masking made me do, um, I had conversations already planned out in my head long time before they happened. I had things to say to people when they first said hi to me. Oh, I have to have this conversation with this person today. Here's how it's going to go. If they went off script, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna need a second. Gonna need a second. I don't have a second because uh, human beings are supposed to just be on the fly, spontaneous and easygoing. Um, uh, well, now I'm crying. So uh, that's cool. Maybe that's not a masking thing as much as it could just be an autism thing because I still do that. Um, but just because I hate uh, talking to people. Another thing masking me do. Smile all the time. Smile and stare. Big, big wide mouth. Like you can see almost all the teeth in there. Big facial expression gal, which I've also practiced in the mirror. So don't worry about that. Here's another random thing. When I was 12, my Instagram was just selfies. Nothing else, selfies. People were like, you are really confident in yourself. Mm. Growing up like that, I wasn't even a person. There was nothing to be confident about. Oh my God, another one. Do you guys remember when I did that um, audiobook? For American Girl. So American Girl, right? Don't know if y'all know that I'm Canadian. We had to go over the words like about and out 85,000 times. But because that happens so much, catch me now if my abouts and outs sound Canadian or American. I practice it so much, I'm pretty sure I'm much more American sounding. That was good. About, out, 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 out and about. Because the, the out and abouts, those were getting me. Because, okay, hold on. Now I feel like I can't even do it Canadianly. Out and about. Yeah, that's what, yeah. She was out and about, out and about, when you're out and about. About, 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 wow, 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 chicka, wow, wow. I'm sure there are a lot of more things that I'm doing that are masking that I don't even know about right now. Oh uh, yeah, so there, there's like, there's like masking things. Blech. Grossy, grossy masking. Briefly, I'm gonna just word vomit some things that I now do that are the opposite of masking. The first thing you need to do to unmask is to uh, really get to know yourself. Like I no longer uh, grin and bear sensory issues. I now I'm like, you can accommodate yourself. Got my earplugs on, got my sunglasses. I wear clothes that usually feel good on my body. I found out uh, how I talk. Found out what clothes I like, what music I, I like. Hey, you don't have to look at people in the eye if you don't want to. I do still shake people's hands because I think it's funny. I think that unmasking too has really helped me find um, friends, honestly. I'm gonna call it my one friend, Renee. I don't know if she, if she watches this. I'm not calling you out, but I'm telling people a story about you. Renee and I went to school together when we were in middle school. Renee has a really good sense of people. When we were grade eight, we were in the same class. When she looked at me and she wanted to read me, she got nothing from me. Like she could see who I was, which was this outgoing, bubbly, happy, smiley, big eyed, baby girl who skipped around the class. I skipped. Renee would see me and be like, you are displaying this one thing, but inside you are I'm not getting anything from you. It's so funny because when she told me that, like probably a few months ago or something, when we re-met and when we kind of started being friends, like she could read me a little bit better. And she was like, okay, yeah, that's, that's a person. And she's telling me that and I'm like, dude, that is wild because I was empty. She's like, do you think that's an autism thing? And I'm like, bitch, yeah. Now Renee's my best friend uh, <laughs> because I'm a person now. People are weird. No, no one really displays their weirdness um, as much as they could or they want to. And I think that I do more than most. People are like, what a, what a weird different person. I can probably be weird and different with them. Do I absolutely love that? No. Do I love being Manic Pixie Dream Girled? No. I couldn't tell you like how many people I meet for the first time and they're like, do you feel this spark between us? I think we're meant to be. Do you just get me? We just click, we just get each other. It's because I'm a really cool person. It's because of me. Uh, I'm not feeling this way with you, but I'm glad that you're 27 and for the first time you're talking about more things than the weather, so. I'm gonna go now. But guys, I wanna hear from you. Tell me what masking looked like for you. What has masking made you do? Thank you guys for being here today. I love you. You better help for sponsoring today's video. Make sure that you guys go click the link down below. Thanks for being here. Next week, I'm going to be debunking and talking about the chemical imbalance theory. Very exciting stuff. Good to see you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for learning. As always, I love you so much. I'll see you next week.